हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बुलियन बाबा वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एन पी एस ऑफ बैंक्स वन सोल्यूशन हेड ऑलरेडी गिवन इन माई अर्लियर टॉक नो दिस इज द सेकेंड इशू इंडियन बैंक्स हैव गॉट अ वेरी वेरी स्पेशल स्टेटस इन द डेवलपमेंटल एक्टिविटी ऑफ इंडिया दे आर बर्डन विद प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर लोन्स Actually, when priority sector loans, when lead bank scheme was introduced, the aim was that the managerial expertise of Indian banks will be used to make the priority sector loans, the priority sector people, agriculture, allied agriculture, loanies, rural loanies, succeed in their venture ventures because the managerial input, the intellectual input will come from banks. Unfortunately. the way things have been implemented banks had absolutely no say and then the government agencies which were in power have utilized the lead bank scheme in the priority sector loans to further their own narrow ends and then killed the banks in the process now we are in a situation where is the bank of india had washed its hands off it says it is going to be neutral it is not going to help the banks in solving the twin balance sheet problem now the banks have to solve themselves now let us consider the priority sector loans what exactly why it is a foregone conclusion you ask any banker i have been a lead banks a lead district officer for a number of years and i know for once that you see the scheme based lending is a failure in india the scheme itself ensures that every priority sector loan will become bad absolutely if you depend on the scheme the scheme will make sure that your loan will go back that is a 120% guarantee i can give you now why is it so it is so because the schemes are prepared without the macro circumstances in which the unit is going to function into account you have a poultry unit for 10000 rupees you have a poultry unit for 1 lakh of rupees You have a poultry unit for ten lakh of rupees. What is the joke? You have a transport unit for ten thousand rupees. You have a transport unit for twenty thousand rupees. You have a transport unit for fifty thousand rupees. You have a transport unit for one lakh of rupees. You have a transport unit for ten lakh of rupees. What is this big joke? There is what is called, you know, a macro level of viability. All our schemes suffer from this particular lack of macro viewpoint. if you take into account any village go to any village and analyze any village you will see that in a 500 houses village there will be at least a thousand ration shops sanction in the lead bank scheme so far you will see that where there are only two dairies that are working you will find that about 10000 animals have been given where there are only 20 sheep that are live in that village at least 10000 sheep have been financed now what has gone wrong where have you gone wrong we have gone wrong because we have shut our eyes to the main requirement of lead bank scheme that is the managerial expertise intelligence intellectual capacity of the bankers which has to be harnessed for the benefit of the people or the loanees in the rural areas junk the schemes nabard schemes junk them they are not worth the paper on which they are printed Sid B schemes junk them; they are not worth the paper on which they are printed. Find out how you can make any particular scheme successful. We had work in say Naurangpur, Malkangiri areas when I was there. So what was the problem? The problem was that we had to give transport loans because that district did not have transport. Now, as per the if you go as per the normal rules. You will have to give poultry. You will have to give ration shop. You will have to give, you know, all kinds of things to fill up the tables. But we decided in the meeting, no, we will not go like that. We will decide what is the maximum requirement. What is the item that is maximum required? Transport. Now we also know that the transport in a district like that in a hilly terrain, you need bigger units. You can't finance autos. Uh, and then de uh, develop the district transport. You have to give buses. You have to give lorries. You have to give jeeps. 
and the nearest point was jaipur so what do you do so we had at our level at the district consultant coordinator level decided that for 2 3 years we will finance only transport in all the schemes government schemes and then we will finance only groups we will make a minimum unit of at least 5 lakhs 10 lakhs 20 lakhs 50 lakhs like that wherever the groups are there we'll pull them up together five ten people will put them together and give them a bus five ten people put them together give them a jeep five ten people pull them together and give them a lorry so that even if they don't pay let's say it is a presumed gone presumption that none of the private sector people pay but the district will develop because transport will be there and i first went there there was a bus in the morning which will go up to the end of the district and come back in the evening that's all only one single bus so we had to go to that place at the end of the district where there is a chest that inspect that then you have only 5 minutes time to or 15 minutes time or 20 minutes time or a half an hour time if you request the driver to come back in the same bus because no other transport is available compare it with next 3 years of implementation of our scheme wherever you stand in the district on the main road you would have jeeps transporting people you will have buses you will have lorries transporting vehicles so that kind of a concentrated financing that kind of a group financing that is what is required junk all the schemes that are available and go to your own background go to your banking get back to banking do banking as if you make the person rich as if you make the district rich available with all services that's what is required that will going to save you from nps not anything else thank you for watching